midst of the Shikshastakam prayers. But we'll resume them at another date. I think it's important that we take some time out for these uh, great acharyas who have given us so much in their teachings and in their life example. So today is Jai Devaswami's disappearance day. Umagyanti Mirandasya Tasmai Shri Guru Namaha. Yuma Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pristaya Bhutale Shri Makti Bhakti Vedanta Swami Iti Namane Namaste Saraswati Deve Gauravani Pucharine Nirvishay Sasunya Vani Pastyatyade Satarine Panchakalpa Tarubhischa Nipusindu Vae Vichya Patita Nam Pavane Vyo Vaishnava Gurmaraj, you are I just watching this breaking Gurmaraj. Speak a little bit about <laughs> Something's wrong with my <clears throat> internet. It seems like it's the internet is weak. Uh, maybe I can shut off the video. Yes, Gurmaraj. Thank you. Is the video on? Yes, Gurmaraj. Video is on. Okay. Uh, I went to another place. So I'm not sure. Um, let me know if I, if it continues to break up, I'll do something. Yes, good management. Yeah. Okay. So there's a place called Sri Champak Hati. It's at Sri Kola Dweep, the island of Sri Navadweep, Mayapur Dham. It's the appearance place of Sri Jayadev Goswami. Good marriage, it's breaking again. Um, I think uh, we can. There's beautiful deities, Gorgadahar, there. Three years old. Oh, Good marriage, we can't hear you properly. Um, hmm. Uh, Guru Maharaj, um, uh, can you please uh, stop your video, Guru Maharaj? Um, let me see if I can shut off my video here. I can do that, Guru Maharaj. Uh, Guru Maharaj, you are muted now. Hare Krishna. Okay, can you hear me now? Yes, Guru Maharaj. Yes. Is it clear? Yes, Guru Maharaj. Yes. It's not scratchy or no broken? Guru Maharaj. It's fine now. It's it's okay now. Yeah. Okay. So there is, uh, uh, we're talking about Srila Jayadeva Goswami. I'm speaking quite slow, so it might sound like I'm breaking up, but I'm not. He, uh, he appeared in a place called Champakati, which is part of Kuladweep, one of the nine islands of, of Navadweep area. Uh, I'll read a little bit about Jayadeva. One time there was a king his name was Lakshman Sain, and he ruled the place. 
Jayadev, the great poet, was one of his citizens, and he was living in a cottage on the bank of the Ganga near a place called Dalal Digka, dear Gika, with his wife Padmapati. There he, we were, were all familiar with the one stotra called Dasa Vatara Stotra. Um, and Jayadeva Goswami wrote, describing the, the Leela avatars in succession. The one we know the most is Tavakara Kamala. So that one was one, the third one, and the first one is Mina Sarira, which is the uh, Matsya incarnation, and then Korma Sarira, Jaya Jagadish. Then the third one, the third one is actually Braha Rupa. So he mentions the Leela avatars in succession, all the way up to Koki avatar, which hasn't appeared yet. That's one of his great contributions. Now this king, he was very happy that he had such a personality living in his kingdom. So he wanted to meet him. <laughs> so he came to Jayadev Goswami's cottage, disguised as a Vaishnava, and he offered his obeisances and sat down in the corner. The king took a very humble position. The king immediately introduced himself and requested Jayadev to visit his palace. Jayadev was renounced. He didn't, he was so detached that he wasn't interested in visiting in a house of a materialistic king. He says, I never, it's never auspicious to associate with material persons. I will leave your kingdom and go elsewhere. Well, when the king heard that, he was shocked. Oh my, he said, kindly honor my request. Never leave Navadweep to go if you are merciful. Act in this way and all your desires will be filled automatically. Stay here for one or two more years. That is my humble request. Jayadev was moved by the humility of the king and decided to stay. He was very strict when it comes to association. The king, the king was happy. And then he ordered a nice cottage to be built for Jayadev at Chapakalka. And he stayed there for some time. There are many wonderful stories connected with Jayadev's life. The famous one, which we hear one time when Jayadev was at his college, he was writing what is now known as Gita Govinda. The Gita Govinda is one of the more esoteric uh, publications about the leelas of Radha and Krishna, very intimate. And he, he, is, the, he is the author of uh, Jay, uh, Gita Govinda. Prabhupada told us not to read it. He said it is not necessary and it's very, very too intimate for generally for anyone to read. He said, just, you know, stick with whether the authorized literature that I gave you, which is of the same nature. <laughs> and then there's a little pastime that was mentioned in the Gita Govinda. Radharani was in her special mood of man. Man means anger, and she was angry at Krishna. Krishna could not. And Krishna tried so many ways to pacify her, but he, she, he couldn't. He tried everything. He was teasing her. He was being comical, humorous, tricky. Everything failed to change her mood. Finally, um, Krishna decided, well, there's nothing I can do. So he decided to place his head at the feet of Radharani in, in this position of humble. And so while he was writing this particular Leela, he came to that point where it says Krishna places his head at the lotus feet of Srimati Radharani. And then he thought, hmm, that sounds like an offense. How can, this is not the etiquette. The Supreme Personality of Godhead placing his head at Radharani's feet. 
he was a little upset with himself thinking in that way and then he rejected but when he decided to continue writing no thought came so he decided to stop his writing and then he turned to his wife Padmavati and he said um, please prepare lunch I'll be back I'm going to the Ganga for bath so but, but while he was away, Jayadeva uh, Krishna appeared in the form of Jayadeva, came over to the book and wrote something. And then he uh, sat down, he was in the form of Jayadeva and he accepted the lunch prepared by Padmavati. He also left some remnants and then he disappeared. Just a few minutes later, this, the real Jayadev came back. And he was, his hair was all wet from being in the Ganges. And she asked him, how is that you're returning twice? <laughs> when he had just come to eat, Jayadev didn't understand what his wife meant. And so he was completely confused. Then she told him, well, you came and you sat here and you took lunch and you wrote in your book. So he went over to check the book and there it was, what he had not decided to write about Radharani Krishna placing his head at her feet. This was now written. And then Jayadeva became astonished and he could understand. He fell to the ground crying in spiritual ecstasy. And he started glorifying his wife that she had received the personal darshan of Shamsundar himself who came just to, to complete that writing and gave Padmavati his personal association so much so that he, he, she actually took the remnants of Krishna's prasadam after he left. <clears throat> This is one of the one or more beautiful stories in the life of Jayadeva Goswami. One day, Jayadeva was worshiping Krishna and he saw Lord Krishna transform into a color of a champak flower. Hmm. That same Krishna who was blackish now became golden. His face was beautiful like moons, millions of moons. And from his neck hung a beautiful garland. The entire cottage was made bright by his, by his illumination. Seeing the form of Garanga Mahaprabhu, which was formerly Krishna, Jayadeva fainted <clears throat> and he fell into ecstasy, rolling on the ground, tears falling from the eyes. Uh, well, his wife also, she was also there and she also was able to experience what her husband was experiencing. And then the Lord actually appeared there in person, picked them all up and said, you are both my sober devotees. And I had a great desire to give my darshan to both of you. Soon I will take birth in the city of Nadi and become the son of Sachi Devi. And through my various incarnations, I will distribute the love of Godhead. I will accept the sannyas order at the age of 24 and leave and travel and reside in Sri Mayapur Dham. After giving his mercy, then the Lord disappeared. And again, they went into ecstasy and lost consciousness. Now they were feeling very lost and sad after losing the association of, Mayapur, of uh, Mahaprabhu. But the Lord spoke to them through an unembodied voice. He said, do not feel sadness. He said, in a few days, both of you who, who had planned to leave Jagannath Pur, Jagannath has fulfilled your desire and you can, you can leave and you will see you you will see Lord Jagannath, and after that, you'll both return. You will leave your bodies and return here to Navarodip and remain here eternally as my eternal 
servants. <laughs> so you can see how the Lord not only gave his mercy to Jayadev, this is one of the examples of how when one is connected intimately with a great soul, that mercy flows. <clears throat> Just like we have the example in the story of, um, <clears throat> of Dhruva Maharaj. <clears throat> what was the quality of Dhruva Maharaj's mother? She, she pointed the way where he actually be, he started his path of spiritual life, but she wasn't practicing anything significant in her life. But when it was time for him to go back to Godhead, and a beautiful airplane had come from the Vaikuntha realms to take him back to the spiritual world, Dhruva Maharaj was greeted by the inhabitants. And then just before he was about to get into the airship, he said, I don't want to go unless my mother goes. And then he, he, they said, uh, Dhruva, just look to your left. And he did. And there was another airship picking up his mother and also taking her back to the spiritual world. So this is a, one of the more important points that we should note, that our connection with someone is great also spills over where we, we receive much mercy from the Lord. Sometimes family members don't understand. Sometimes you become a devotee of the Lord and your family members complain or protest or even become very active in trying to make it difficult for you to practice. Sometimes do uh, crazy things. I remember there was one situation in one temple where one devotee, he was a brahmachari, he joined and he was a full-time brahmachari. <clears throat> so his mother was very upset that he had become a brahmachari. So she had come to the temple. <clears throat> and when she came to the temple, she came right into the temple and made, made a scene. In other words, she was quite emotional, wanting her son to return home. And her son was there, and many other brahmacharis were watching the situation. There was a light hanging from the ceiling with a, from a wire and there was no bulb into the in the light and so she happened to say if you don't come home i will stick my finger in this socket and end my life well she shocked everybody when she said that so the boy decided not to cause a further scene so he decided to return home with his mother so, but after some time, again, he lost interest and came back to the temple. And again, his mother came and made a scene. This time, to no avail, he stayed and became a full-time devotee. But she doesn't know <clears throat> that the benefits that she gets simply by his devotional service. Just like it says that if you become fully fixed in Krishna consciousness and you leave your body, and then 14 generations of your family members get liberation also. <clears throat> so what does that mean? That means anyone who is connected to a, a devotee reaps the benefit of devotional service, even if they are not a devotee. This is how wonderful it is or how powerful devotional service is. It's the internal energy of the Lord. And it works to benefit those who are connected with the devotee. And so uh, that liberation means that those 14 generations of family members in their next life, wherever they are, they take birth in a devotee family and begin Krishna consciousness. So this is how auspicious it is to be connected to one who is fixed in pure devotional service. So sometimes we, we have to somehow communicate that to sometimes family members who are a little bit ignorant of the fact of the benefits. And at the same time, try to encourage them in, in Krishna consciousness. Okay. 
So this is the benefit of being connected with the devotee. That's a little bit about the life of Jayadev Goswami. He was completely renounced. Um, we'll sing some of his uh, from the Dasa Avatar Sotra, the Gita Govinda, Ashila Jayadev Goswami. And I'll sing a few of the, I'm not a good singer, but I thought I'd. This is so beautiful that simply by singing this, one develops great spiritual benefits <laughs> and it's so sweet and so nice. So this is from the Das Avatar Sotra. Pralaya prayodi jala dritavana sivedam Vihita Vahitra Charita Rakehidam Kesava Drita Mina Sarira Jai Jagadisa Hare O Keshava, O Lord of the Universe, O Lord Hari, who have assumed the form of a fish, all glories to you. You easily acted as a boat in the form of a giant fish just to give protection to the Vedas, which had become immersed in the turbulent sea of devastation. Shitti iha vipula tare tishtani tava prishtem dharani dharan kinka chakra garistem keshavadrita kurma sarira Jai Jagadisa Hare. O Keshava, O Lord of the Universe, O Lord Hari, who have assumed the form of a tortoise, all glory to you. In this incarnation as a divine tortoise, a great Mandara mountain rests upon your gigantic bank as a pivot for churning the ocean of milk. From holding up the huge mountain, a large scar-like depression is put in your back, which has become most glorious. Vasati dasana sikare dharani tavalagnam shasini kalakalevani mahagnam keshavadrita sukara rupa Jai Jagadisa Hare. O Keshava, O Lord of the Universe, O Lord Hari, who have assumed the form of a boar, all glories to you. The earth has become immersed in the garbled dark ocean at the bottom of the universe, and is six fixed up on, on the tusk, on your tusk, like a spot upon the moon. Well, this is the uh, more incarnation. Now, the one we always sing. Tava kala kamala bhare nakam adbhuta sringam dolitali ranya kashi putanu bringam esa vadrita narahari rupa jai jagadisa hare. O Keshava, O Lord of the Universe, O Lord Hari, who assumed the form of half man, half lion, all glories to you. Just as one can easily crush a wasp between one's fingernails, so in the same way the body of the wasp-like demon Harani Kashipu has been ripped apart by the wonderful pointed nails on your beautiful lotus hands. Chala si chala chala ya si vikrame bala abuta bahaman paranaka nida jani chana pavana kesha vadrita vamana rupa jai jagadisa hare. O Keshava, O Lord of the Universe, O Lord Hoi, who assumed the form of a dwarf Brahman. All glories to you, O wonderful dwarf. By your massive step, you deceive King Bali. And by the Ganga water that has emanated from the nails of your lotus feet, you deliver all living beings within this world. 
that is Lord Vamanadev. Kshatriya Rude Marajagara Pataha Pahapam Snapaya Payasi Samita Bhavatahapam Keshavadrita Brigupati Rupaham Jai Jagadisa Hare O Keshava, O Lord of the Universe, O Lord Hari, who assumed the form of Brigupati Parasaram, all glories to you. At, K at Kurushetra, you bathe the earth in the rivers of blood from the bodies of the demoniac Kshatriyas that you have slain. The sins of the world are washed away by you, and because of you, people are relieved from the blazing fire of material existence. Vitarasi diksarane dikpatikamaniyam dasamukamauli bali ramaniyam keshavadrita ramasarira jai jagadishare O Keshava, O Lord of the Universe, O Lord Hari, who assumed the form of Ramchandra, all glories to you. In the battle of Lanka, you destroy the ten-headed demon Ravana and distribute his heads as delightful offerings to the presiding deities of the seven directions, headed by Indra. This action was long desired by all of them who were very much harassed by this monster. Baha Siva Pusa Visadeva Sana Jaladahabam Ali Hati Biti Niti La Jamuna Bam Keshavadrita Haladana Rupam Jai Jagadisa Hare O Keshava, O Lord of the Universe, O Lord Hari, who has assumed the form of Balaram. The wither of the plow, all glories to you. On your brilliant white body, you wear garments of a fresh color like a blue rain cloud. These garments are colored like the beautiful dark hue of the river Jamuna, who feels great fear due to the striking of your plowshare. Nindasi yagya birhir ahaha sruti jahatam sadaya vritai dasiti pasu grastam keshavadritam burasari raha jai jagadhisahare O Keshava, O Lord of the Universe, O Lord Hari who assumed the form of Buddha, all glories to you, O Buddha of compassionate heart. You decry the slaughtering of poor animals performed according to the rules of Vedic sacrifice. Blecha vihaha vidane kalaya sakaravalam duma ketu ihakim api karahalam kesha vadrita kaukisari raham jai jagadisahare. O Keshava, O Lord of the Universe, O Lord, who we have assumed the form of Kalki, all glories to you. You appear like a common and carrying a terrifying sword for bringing about the annihilation of the wicked barbarian men at the end of the Kali Yuga. Sri Jaya Dev Kavi Idam Udu Tam Udaharam Srinu Sukatam Sukatam Bhava Saharam Keshavadrita Vira Rupa Keshavadrita Dasa Vira Rupa Jai Jagadi Sahare O Keshava, O Lord of the Universe, O Lord Hari, who have assumed these ten different forms of incarnations. All glories to you. O readers, please hear this hymn of the poet Jayadeh, which is most excellent, in a water of happiness, a bestower of auspiciousness, and the best thing in this dark world. So, yeah. So then there's a last verse, which kind of sums up the, all of the 10 incarnations again, in a very, in one complete 
uh, Stotra. So this is the uh, glorious offering by Jayadev Goswami, these 11 prayers plus one, along with his beautiful work of Sri Gita Govinda. Today is his disappearance day. Um, he also, there's also some pastimes of him worshiping Lord Jagannath when he was residing in Jagannath Puri. So I'll stop there and uh, Thank you so much, Guru Maharaj. That was very nice uh, class, Guru Maharaj. Thank you so much. Okay. Would anyone like to comment? Yeah. Anybody have any questions or comments? They can go ahead. Or they can type in the chat window also. Thank you so much. We got two Guru things in the Yeah, okay, go ahead. Guru Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. All glories to you, Guru Maharaj. All glories to Jayadev Goswami and Git Govind. This was so wonderful to hear the beautiful description of the 10 forms of the Lord, which is, of course, the principal forms. The Lords of the forms are many. My question actually relates back to something you said in the lecture about how uh, when we associate with great souls, we get the mercy, even though we may not be very much involved ourselves in devotional service. And then you went on to describe how family members give so much trouble sometimes. So <laughs> if we tell them something like 14 generations get liberated, that means that your next birth, you get to be a devotee. They're going to turn and say, oh, it's not enough that she's a devotee. Now she wants to curse us also to be like her. No, you don't tell them that. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. You don't, you don't have to tell them the benedictions. Oh, okay. <laughs> but once they get that situation, it's different because they'll be in a different body. <laughs> so we just keep going regardless of what family men say or don't say. This is we don't we don't care about what people say or don't say. What we're saying is that this is the benefit of being connected to a devotee. But it's, it's really true. hard when your own family members are so much against you, Guru Maharaj. It's really hard, you know? What can you do? So you just go on with your, you go on with your devotional service. Right? You can speak something when they, if it's possible, but if you don't, and then it's not like we're out to convince everybody who is not convincible. If people are not don't want to change, then we don't spend time trying, you know, don't waste time trying to change them. We just move on to the area where people are more receptive to what we are, what we are doing and what we are giving. It's just, it's just, the point was that the connection is there and the benefits there. You could call it a Gyata Sukriti. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Yeah, don't worry about what they, you know, what can you do? And you'll find the stronger you are in your Krishna consciousness, the more effect you have on others, even those who are mimical. Mm -hmm. So the idea is just to strengthen our own devotional service and that will, that will expand out to benefit others automatically. Just like we might say, this world right now is it's pretty much uh, degraded. 
uh, the particular situation we find ourselves is due to the sinful actions of the living entities on the collective scale. The more people become sinful, the more they invite calamities into their life. And when it becomes so strong, it becomes in the form of wars, pestilence, and various other huge calamities. So this particular pestilence and this is pointed out in the Bhagavatam many, many times, and also in the lectures by Srila Prabhupada. These are results of people's sinful activities. And so well, what's keeping this world going is the presence of the devotees, the presence of people who are practicing spiritual life. Otherwise, if that wasn't there, this, you know, the whole place would be destroyed by the sinful activities of people. The modes of passion and ignorance are just, they have no value because they're all based on selfishness and egoistic cruelty. Only when people are in the mode of goodness is there any value in life. Otherwise, people are like animals. They're no better than animals. They simply live to maintain the body and to exploit others in order to facilitate their desires to enjoy more. And that's the world situation today. It's been like that since the beginning of time. Every time the demons become strong, every time sinful activity becomes strong, the demons become stronger. And then Eventually, the devotees are put into difficult situations. But the devotees are not affected by the difficult situations because they take shelter of Krishna. And Krishna protects the devotees by giving them his shelter in the form, especially in this age, of the holy, the holy name. So using today's particular scenario of difficulties there's no difficulty for devotees because this these sinful reactions that are coming onto the earth due to the collective karma of the population due to killing cows killing babies and just just following no rules and regulations living like whatever they do whenever they want to do um it does, the devotees, you know, are not affected by that. But if we're not careful, we can be. So careful means to take precautions and take shelter of Krishna's holy name. If we're taking shelter regularly of Krishna's holy name, we're protected, we're safe. Krishna protects the devotees amidst all this, but Krishna allows the demons to flourish because that's how the material energy works. As the material energy becomes more towards the lower modes, passion and ignorance, demons become more prominent. And then they cause more and more problems for people in general. But Krishna is there in the form of his name. His name is an incarnation, Kali Kale, Nama Rupa, Krishna Avatar. Krishna has come in the form of his name, just like he came 5,000 years ago when the earth was being disturbed by demoniac kings. And Mother Bhumi was complaining that her earth was being ravaged by these kings who were in the form of these demons who were in the form of kings. So she petitioned the demigods, the demigods headed by Brahma went to the milk ocean and then the Krishna decided to come. So Prabhupada said, Krishna's already come in this age. He's actually came ahead of time, knowing that this age would be so bad. He's come in the form of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who came to deliver the Yuga Dharma, Krishna himself in the form of his name. And he's manifested himself as a literary incarnation in the form of Srimad Bhagavatam. So we have at least three to four 
types of incarnations in this age. The other incarnation is Archivigraha. He's come in the form of his deity. So Krishna is here in the form of his deity, in the form of the holy shastras, in the home form of the holy name. But out of all the different forms of Krishna's manifestation in this age, the holy name is the one that gives complete and perfect shelter and protection. Therefore, chant as much as you can. This is where our shelter is, not in any kind of material solutions. There's no material solutions. The only solution is take shelter of Krishna. And Krishna will protect his devotees, don't worry. Guaranteed. He likes to do that, but he, he only does it when we're sincerely seeking his shelter. And so he's given us the means in this age. Chant my holy name, he says. So we shouldn't be satisfied just chanting our prescribed number of rounds. That may have been good, but now with the situation becoming more and more dangerous, it's, it's incumbent that we chant more and more and more. In fact, it's recommended to chant 24 hours a day if you can. Always trying to chant more. Pick up your beads anytime and just chant. That's the, that's the umbrella of complete protection in this age is Krishna's holy name. Yes, Guru Maharaj, thank you so much for emphasizing that. And when you have time, organize, get into kirtan with other devotees, organize kirtans, come together. Even if you come together with three or four people, have kirtan. Anybody else have any questions or comments? Hare Krishna Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. All glory to Srila Prabhupada, all glories to you Maharaj. Maharaj, thank you very much for this wonderful narration of Chaitya Goswami's life. Uh, in fact, it's the Savata Shotra. Stotra is a favorite for me and my children. Mm. So I have a question, Maharaj, in the sense that Chaitya Goswami wrote very, very esoteric and confidential topics about the love of Radha and Krishna, and especially the, the man of Radha Rani, which is the epitome. Uh, how was it possible for him to do that? Is he, uh, I'm just kind of thinking in the sense that he appeared 350 years before Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And we always think that, you know, from Ishwarpuri, you know, where we have uh, the conjugal love that was very prominent after that. Um, yeah, it started with Mar it started Mar with Madhavendra Puri. Madhavendra Puri, yes, sorry, Mar yes. But before that, yeah, it wasn't talked about at all. It wasn't part of our, our Sampradaya. Radharani really made her prominence in the Sampradaya in the form of Madhavendra Puri. Before that, it was mostly just Krishna. <laughs> Although these pastimes were known, it was not, Radharani was not emphasized at all. Yeah. But it's always been there because it's Krishna's leela eternally. 
Jai Dev Goswami is very important. That's why I decided to somehow or other take some time and try to speak some glory of him. He's very, very special. I mean, Mahaprabhu appeared to him personally. And Krishna actually took the form of Jayadev just to associate, to give his wife some special mercy. You can see how both of them were very elevated personalities. King, the King uh, Akshman Sain, he said, my kingdom has become glorious just by your presence here. Even if you don't come to my palace, that's okay. Just stay here. <laughs> I won't bother you anymore. <laughs> Just stay in my kingdom. Yeah, he was a uh, very exalted personality. Um, we have to check the Gora the Gonadesh Deepika by Kavi Kanapur, who describes who these great personalities who appeared around the time of Lord Chaitanya, what was their you know, who are they in, in, the, in the eternal leelas of Krishna? So that one I'm not sure of, but with a little research, it can be uncovered. Thank you, Maharaj. Ah, he's very special. Yeah, that's a good question you made. How do we answer that? It's just, a, he's just... Very special. Uh, so we got one verse, one three thirty-four. Yes, Guru Maharaj. Um, Sundia Mataji is writing. If the illusory energy subsides and the living entity becomes fully enriched with knowledge by the grace of the Lord, then he becomes at once enlightened with self-realization and thus become situated in his own glory. Yeah. Yeah, that confirms how one becomes enlightened, self-illuminated. The soul is by nature chit. Chit means full of knowledge. And that knowledge reflects its inequality but because of being associated with the material energy which is very difficult to overcome that knowledge is covered remove that covering completely and the knowledge and unlimited happiness and full knowledge become available. Okay, thank you, Sudia. Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj. Uh, please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. All glories to you, Maharaj. Uh, thank you, Maharaj, for glorification of Jayadev Goswami. Like, uh, I also like him very much. But, and also heard that uh, his Gita Govin is like recited in Jagannath Puri temple every day. It's very dear to Jagannath Ji. But I search like many, like, uh, like uh, this Gita Govind on the internet, many versions, but not sure like which one is the right one and actually no, not from any proper sources like the complete Gita Govind. Um, it's just, you know, it's, in, it's interesting. And this happened just yesterday. Yeah. Our, one of our devotees who runs the uh, gift shop here in Slovenia, he said, Mars, I have something for you. He said, we got this one book and we can't sell it here in the uh, in the gift shop, it's just too, it's too esoteric. So I want to give it to you. I said, fine. I didn't even know what book it was. He gave me the Gita Govinda. 
<laughs> so I just received it. I never had a copy, so I got handed the Gita Govinda. So uh, if you give me one minute, I'll go pick up that copy, which is just in my next room, and uh, tell you a little bit about the edition. It seems you, like it's, it's an authorized version. It doesn't have any publication information at all in it. It's just a copy translated by one person who was known as Gadadhar Pram. But again, Srila Prabhupada has cautioned us not to. I just took it and I just put it in my library. I wasn't thinking of reading it. It's short. There's a, let me see. Let's see how many verses are there. There's different, there's about 10 or 11, there's 12 chapters and each chapter has maybe from 12 to 15 verses in it. But again, I don't recommend it to, because Prabhupada pretty much cautioned us not to get into it. Okay, okay. I mean, there's so much else to read. You want to read something yes. about Krishna's leelas, there's, you can do, read um, Govinda Lilamrita, Govinda yeah, yeah, Lilamrita the uh, different stages of Krishna's life in the spiritual world by Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami, a book that I would highly recommend for Krishna's Leelas is, and this is also quite nice, is uh, Gopal Champu by Jiva Goswami. I mean, there's, there's a host of other books that are not so esoteric And she and and uh, you know Mahaprabhu, he never spoke about this either in public or in. He might as he I think he spoke about this in private with some of his intimate disciples, because he had three and a half intimate disciples. Thank you, Maharaj. I think this is quite useful. Thank you, Hare Krishna. Yeah, this Prabhupada has given us so much, we don't need to go anywhere else. <laughs> yes, Maharaj, I agree. I mean, I got the book, I just took it because he didn't want to put it in his, his in the store, so I just put it on my shelf. I don't plan to read it. Thank you, Maharaj. Yeah. Unless one is completely fixed in pure Krishna consciousness, the mind will conjecture in, in the wrong way. You will see Krishna's pastimes as something other than pure spiritual ras. It's pure spiritual ras. It is free from anything material. It's on the highest transcendental platform. There is not one iota of selfishness anywhere in Krishna's pastimes. It's pure. So we have the Bhagavatam, there's a lot there. <laughs> okay, so anything else? Archana Siddhi Mataji is asking, is Krishna Karanamata by Bilva Mangal Thakura also not for us? Yes, that's fine. 
Krishna Karna Rita is fine. Because that was Lord Chaitanya when he was traveling to South India. He stopped in one place. He found the Krishna Karna Rita and the Brahma Samhita. He had them copied and brought it back to his devotees. Krishna Karna Rita is a little elevated, but it can be read in its verses and its translations. It's sweet. Thank you, Guru. Anybody else have any questions or comments? Okay, so we can stop here. Maybe we can end with our one round of Japa. Sure, good Maharaj. That's right. Fine. Okay. Jaya Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadana Sri Vasudhi Gauda Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Hare Rama Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari Hari Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari Hari Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna Hari 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 Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. 
Hare Hare Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Rama Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Rama Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, 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 Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama, 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 Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna. Hari Rama, Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, 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 Hari Hari, Hari Krishna. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, 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 Hari Hari, Hari Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Hare Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Rama. 